So Danfoss is a family-owned company, which is uh, targeting for the renewable and and, uh, and uh, energy efficiency products. So we are we are in heating, we are in uh, cooling, uh, and then we are in uh, dries, and then we are in power solutions, which means uh, these moving vehicles and mobile vehicles and heavy-duty vehicles. So we have four segments, and the target for for Danfoss is to be biggest or second biggest in the world for each segment they are playing and, and, and that's of course a really interesting target for every manager who is there. So uh, our, our major part of our revenues comes from the part of hydraulics which we know that is going to be diminished as a market and at the end in a far far future it will be replaced by electric, electrification. So what we need to do now we need to be supporting our customers with full selection of electric uh, stuff, even it's eating our own. So we need to dis disturb our own market by internally. So this is a really, really uh, demanding for the for the company always. When we look at the market, it has been quite interesting. As as uh, traditional, there was the hydraulic manufacturers, there was the diesel engine manufacturers, and there was the mechanical gearbox manufacturers. Nobody stepped on their toes. Everybody was keeping there and were happy on their market. What happened now, when electrification came along, everybody is saying that, that hey, the full electrification platform you take from us. So now everybody is competing in the same. So the question comes that for customer, there is a variety of selections that they can start to build their electric systems. They can build it on the diesel engine or the combustion engine. They can build it around the mechanic stuff, or they can build it on the, on the hydraulics or in the actuator stuff. And of course, what we see there that that we need to be competitive in our own segment and be showing to the world that this is the correct way to address the market. We just make a, a proposal to uh, take a full acquisition of UQM in USA. Uh, it's a Nasdaq listed stock company, so we are we are now in the in the phase that we we hope that the owners of the shares will uh, will look this as a good momentum for them to sell and so that the company have a bright future with us. So so that's of course that in in states we are putting. Uh, a lot of effort to the unorganic growth. Then at the same time we have been building in Asia factories, so we have uh, there a few partners and then our own factories, so we are at the moment having two to three factories coming up for this uh, uh, equipment in, in Asia side. And then of course in, in Europe we are in slaughtering our facilities, uh, but the problem is not actually in this business, the, the, the factories or the investments, that's that's in, in, in Danfoss' healthy company, we can make investment what is needed. The question is about the people. Everybody needs the educated people who have experience of electrification and hybrids. They are not there. The electrification was not before there, so there are no experts who have 15 to 20 years experience. And if there is one, then everybody wants him or her. So now we need to have the people who are really wanting to put their efforts to this business and educate themselves and, and put a lot of effort to the people we are, we are having around.